Hey everyone, how's it going? So I really wanted to talk about this uh, whole debate that's sort of happening right now with House of the Dragon Season 2 Episode 1, uh, or I guess more specifically the ending scene, that a lot of people have been waiting for for a while, I guess. Like, it is a scene that I think that people have referenced that that is really like, it's a big scene that happens in the books, but honestly, to me, it's not really like the biggest scene that happens in the whole Dance of the Dragon story. But a lot of people have issues with, with the way the scene was done and was saying that, uh, you know, this moment should have been bigger than, than the red wedding which i'd question that too i'm like whoever said that but yeah so i want to talk about that i'll talk about what happens in the books and then what happened on the show and sort of the whole uh issue i guess people are having with this scene here so before any further make sure to be a subscriber if you want to get all my house of the dragon content like this i just posted my review uh earlier today and uh yeah i'll have a lot more episode two content specifically like focus on what we can get for season two a lot of other breakdowns of episode one just certain scenes just kind of just like this talking about certain moments and all that i'll be doing that all season long as well as talking about some stuff that happens in the books and what to expect so yeah make sure to be a subscriber if you want to get more of my house of the dragon content it's going to be a really big show this summer as I was saying, many people are not liking this scene at all, and uh, the big thing that I've been seeing online is that this scene wasn't really that impactful, that what happened in the books was way better. Like, it was a much better moment overall, which I will point out, that is the one thing about anything that is sort of told through, like, history books or what have you in, in Westeros, right? Like, it's more of what the maesters remember or what the maesters wrote down in books. It's not like actual people telling these stories, because the the maesters are the ones mostly writing all the books, right? So it's just more of like what they hear, like they weren't ever there. So it's their interpretation of, you know, historic events, which in Westeros in general, and that was a big thing in Game of Thrones as well. It was sort of how certain people would interpret moments that would happen in the past and whatnot. So I feel like a scene like this, it may not have played out exactly like that. But I mean, regardless that this is the story that we know uh, of Blood and Cheese in House of the Dragon. So what we saw at the end of episode one, well, actually, before we get into that, I'll, I'll talk about what actually happened in the books because that's what people prefer to have happened so in the books what happened is that blood and cheese entered this room because they were sent there by uh damon they go into this room and they find uh jaharis and maylor i believe and uh helena is forced to choose by blood and cheese who to kill like a son for a son right and so she chooses maylor and then i guess they laugh and they're like oh remember this like your mom wanted you dead basically and then they kill jaharis who is next in line for the throne right so that was a moment that uh obviously is is uh pretty just messed up it's a messed up scene in general and you know i think a lot of people like to focus on the fact that helena had to choose right like she actually had to choose and it wasn't who she chose it was the fact that they went with the other option because it's a little bit more i guess just insane like as a scene or as a moment right so what happens in the show is that basically the same thing happens but you know helena tells them who the boy is and you know as she does that they don't really believe her for like a second but then and they were like well no i think she's telling the truth about that so they take her word for it and then they they, they kill that boy and i believe that was jaharis i think maylor i'm pretty sure maylor is actually not a character on the show so it was just between jaharis and jahara i don't know why i can't remember their names or not i apologize but uh yeah so obviously the scene here like it's still it's still a really bad scene right but what happens in the books it's because of the fact that they, they tricked her right and it's a little more of a of a, just a crazier scene that happened and so for me personally oh i guess that's one thing i should mention as well so in the books i don't think they're there to kill aemon targaryen i'm pretty sure aemon is i mean i think that's a show thing i think that's just what you know damon's like well we're gonna i'm gonna go and find him i'll do this for for rhaenyra and i think that was i think that's a show thing i'm pretty sure in in the actual books it was a lot more intentional of like we're gonna go there and do this kind of thing right again i get the switch there like some people yes they're gonna have a lot of a lot of issues with it and that's always gonna be the case but in terms of just like the the crazy things that have happened in game of thrones in general I just feel like there's a, a big overreaction to this moment because like Game of Thrones has messed up a lot. Like the last couple of seasons really did mess up quite a bit, but th there's such a, a thing about all of this here where there's a lot of people as well that really want them to stick close to the books. Like I, I get the argument of like, yes, you want it to be more impactful just like it was in the books, but this is like, again, it's not necessarily a big moment overall. Like Blood and Cheese was a really crazy story from the books, but it wasn't necessarily like, again, I feel like it just, it fits in with what happened 
happened with with, with Lucerus and, and Aemon, right? Like just previously, I feel like if both moments happened in one episode, if it was a big moment, like say the finale focused on the Blood and Cheese storyline happening alongside with uh, Aemon killing Lucerus, then I feel like in a moment like that, yeah, it, it makes it make sense. I mean, timeline wise, it doesn't really make a lot of sense, but it's sort of it's all that one moment. These two moments here is what started pretty much the, the entire war, right? Like Viserys' death, yes, it, it caused all whatever, but these moments here were what really started all of it. So personally, you know, I felt really affected from watching the scene. And I've seen a lot of people reacting the same way as well, just saying, like, you know, I I felt like the scene was already bad enough. Like, why do you, why do you have to make it worse? I, I do get it, though. Like, I understand that other side to it where, like, you would want the scene to be a little bit more, I guess, just, you know, impactful. I've been seeing people say that, oh, this moment was supposed to be bigger than, or they're saying that people were saying that, that this moment was supposed to be better or bigger or whatever than, like, the, the Red Wedding. I'm just like, whoever said that because that like the red wedding was just like iconic like even in the books like people were really waiting for that moment and i feel like in the show they did that right like they actually really did that right although i remember back in the day people were still criticizing it i don't think this moment was ever supposed to be as bad as the red wedding or like better or whatever like it, the red wedding is the red wedding right like this moment was supposed to be again i just feel like when you watch the scene it just it served its purpose it did what it was supposed to do and I, I didn't think it needed to be darker than what it was like I, I felt like it was already a pretty dark story and it's something that is really going to set up the next part of the the arc here which is you know Allison and everyone else fighting back and personally you know with the direction that they they, they chose here they are playing both sides like with the characters because I feel like if it was more like the books where they went there and intentionally chose you know who to die or whatever then it just would have made it a little bit more like Rhaenyra you know that it was her fault whereas now it's like well it is kind of her fault because she said to go and do that she wanted Aemond though and, and not Jaehaerys so I think the scene overall was fine I personally think that that scene the way they told it was fine I have no issues with it at all. I, I didn't think that they needed to get any darker at all and I just think that if you wanted it to get darker like I don't know like I get it if blood and cheese is like the red wedding like if that moment was something like the red wedding then I would say yeah for sure like it needed to be done way better like, like like I get that but also the actress who plays Helena as well like she did a really amazing job in that scene like really phenomenal scene she carried that whole entire scene just all of that there that was incredible and also some of the foreshadowing you know in the episode like beforehand like I thought that she did a really amazing job in that episode and I just think yeah the way that ended yeah i just think she did a really amazing job so i'm gonna leave it here though definitely post your thoughts down below you know this is just my opinion it's just literally how i feel about it when i watched the scene i i was shocked and i was actually like this is actually a really dark moment i wasn't expecting the blood and, and cheese uh storyline like as soon as we got into it i was like oh are they actually getting into this does this make sense because i kind of forgot of just like that part of the story and then as soon as, soon as it was happening i was like oh, okay yeah i remember this now they're actually doing this right now and this scene to me, I think, was, was really well done. Like, personally, for me, it, you know, it was really well done. Maybe you could have made changes here and there, but I think it was fine. I, I personally am totally okay with the scene, and I think the, the focus is, you know, supposed to be more on Aegon, because that episode really, it was focused on the fact that Aegon, he was having a hard time deciding how he wanted to lead, like, the Seven Kingdoms. Should I be, you know, Aegon the Generous, or, you know, like, who, who should I be as, as a king? Because there's a lot of things that he needed to learn. I think with what happened here... This is going to set him off, and he's going to be angry, upset, and uh, yeah, we're going to see a war started here in Season 2, and I'm excited to see where this is going to go. There's going to be there's a lot of little things and really, I guess, interesting storylines that are probably going to happen in the next like however many episodes, but again, I still think that this season is likely going to end with Otto Hightower's death. And with Rhaenyra actually uh, arriving in King's Landing and like taking over King's Landing again. So that's kind of my prediction. And then I could see season three starting with like Alicent being, you know, trapped there. And then we'll just kind of, you know, go from there. But it just makes sense with, you know, when you think of Larys Strong's uh, scene or whatever with, with Aegon. And he sort of put it in his head that like, you know, Otto Hightower is Viserys' Hand of the King. You know, basically like who should your Hand of the King be? Like, like do you want to lead differently, basically? And I, I just... I could see, you know, this event here setting off Aegon, him him being angry, this and that, Otto trying to, like, stop things and, and do whatever, and just frustrations growing there where eventually, you know, they remove him as Hand of the King, get into that whole story there that I think it could end in Otto's death. I just think that 
for him as a character, I think it makes sense. But anyways, I'll, I'll do other videos talking about all that. Just for this one here, specifically on the ending scene. Yeah, I, I personally had no issues with it. But if you did, let me know why. Let me know why I was wrong. And uh, yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.